Being one of the teens accused of murdering an academy student at a house party last December wanted to get out of jail. New video was shown by the defense saying it proves Jesse Pada did not fire the deadly shot. This house prosecutors say Pada asked his family to reach out to the victim, Jada Gonzalez's family. News 13 Jessica Badoan is live in the Newsplex with the story. Prosecutors argued today Pada is a danger to the community and should remain behind bars. They also said there was evidence suggesting Pada was making calls from jail, asking his family to contact the Gonzalez family. The state's concern if the court grants the motion to release him is that there's going to be more tampering with evidence and more witness tampering than there already has been. Jada Gonzalez was at a West Side party on December 17th when police say Pada, along with 16-year-old Isaiah Espinosa and 16-year-old Cruz Medina, were flashing guns before they were kicked out. As the group was about to leave in Pada's Dodge Charger, shots were fired from the car into the house, fatally killing Gonzalez. Pada's attorney has claimed Pada didn't fire the fatal shot and has since been asked that he be released before trial. During the hearing, his attorney played a video claiming it showed Espinosa firing the gun that killed Jada Gonzalez and not Bada. Bada's mother also spoke in court asking for his release. I know he's young, and but he, he wasn't the shooter. And I, and I think everybody deserves a second chance. And we love our son and we want him home. Today, Judge Courtney Weeks denied Bada's motion for release. A trial date for Bada will be set at a later time. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Jessica. At the hearing, the state also stated Pada's family did contact the Gonzalez family. The judge ordered them to not have any form of contact with Jada Gonzalez's family. She even said she would limit who Pada can call if it happens again.